Okay, so first off, that's my first off issue. There's my second issue. Cool. Hey, none of that mattered because I just spoke for about two minutes and nothing came through. Um, that was only about a minute. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for stopping by, uh, watching us stream here. We're doing a little bit of uh, Divinity, Original Sin 2. I was going to play some Baldur's Gate today, but then I decided, you know what? Divinity Original Sin 2 is on sale because it's Steam sale time, and I really wanted the game because <laughs> uh, it's by the guys who are doing Baldur's Gate 3. And it looks really fun, so we're going to play a little bit. Uh, also, just to stay here, our stream today is sponsored by Webify. Uh, they're doing a cool promo offer uh, so that if anybody signs up uh, for any of their services, which is website hosting, um, from now until the end of December, a portion of the proceeds goes to uh, Gearbox Union's um, Extra Life uh, campaign. Uh, so they'll go to Janet Weiss Children's Hospital uh, for, you know, helping sick kids and stuff. It's a good, good cause. Especially if you need a website anyway for whatever reason, so we'll talk about that later. But now, do a little bit of Divinity. So, this game does have local multiplayer, but I don't know what the gameplay is super like yet. So I figure um, it, we can play for a little bit and see what it's like. And if you want to, we can hook up at a controller and you can jump into. <laughs> um, I know it's it's like adventure RPG stuff. I feel like I you, yeah, I, I, I think you said about that before. You might have played one of the old um, Divinity games, which I don't know how the old Divinity games um, compare to this one. Yeah, because I think I was lizard folk. Yeah, they have lizard people. Yeah, I think um, I played the first one, maybe. Turn this on a little bit more so we can get some. Maybe about there. See how that goes. Once those next... characters look very familiar to me. Yeah. So... Character creation. Understood. Um... Okay, I don't want to be a cleric. I want to be... Oh, so they have cleric, which is priesty stuff. I'm sure healing magic. They seem like they're kind of more like a paladin. You got some heavy armor and probably some healing magic. Conjurer... Oh, nope, Conjurer's got heavy armor too, so maybe it's a lizard folk thing. Maybe they all get heavy armor. Um, Enchanter, which I'm assuming is offensive magic. Fighter, that's pretty self-explanatory. Inquisitor? Don't know what that means. Um, I'm assuming magic-y stuff. A uh, different form of magic-y stuff. Knight. I don't know why this knights are... Uh, this one's been out, I think, 2016. It was released. And this one, that might have been actually the one that I played. Really? I actually played this one. Hmm. Metamorph, Ranger, Rogue, Shadow Blade. So many of these sound like they're the same dang thing. <laughs> Battle Matrix. Okay, you know what? We're doing Rogue, because I like doing Rogues. Um, I already took a look through some of the different characters. You can do custom characters, um, but I want to do... As soon as I've seen the gameplay, I should be able to tell this is Um, I'm gonna do... Ilfen Ben Mist. Ifen Ben Mist. Because I like his looks. And I like... I lately have liked playing the, the kind of old men. <laughs> um, so he's got an origin that we can listen to. So we're gonna get list origin story. Once I was a crusader for the divine order. I pledged my life to Lucian the divine. The war changed everything. He sent me to save the elves. I arrived too late. Lucian ordered the use of Death Fog against the Black Ring, annihilating everyone I once knew in the process. Now I'm a mercenary killer, one of the infamous Lone Wolves. And my next target is none other than Lucian's own son. Alright. So that's what we're we're doing. Probably gonna end up calling him Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I honestly wish like each one of them has talents that are different depending on who you pick and I want to know what his talents are but I don't know how to actually look at them so oh wait a second oh there we go got it okay tell me about ingenious gives you 5% bonus critical chance and 10% crit multiplier okay fair Plus one to bartering. Okay. He's got some charisma. 
Oh, there's a bunch of these. Wow. Presets. He's got bonus to finesse and constitution. Okay. I don't know what scoundrel means. But he's civil. Uh, oh no, sneaky. He's sneaky is one of his civil abilities. What are these? Backlash core. Alright. Knife thrown adrenaline. Alright, sure. Telekinesis. War master, sneaking, thievery, bartering, persuasion, lucky charm. All right, he's got some fun stuff. Oh, scoundrels, his combat ability. Ah. Okay, he's got a good bit of finesse. He's gonna. Now, normally, I like playing smart. So having him be a standard intelligence is kind of eh, but memory actually might be a fun one. What's that? You're, you're gonna have to speak up, sweetheart. Part of streaming too. Tags. Okay, so he's a even male human. Uh, instruct. Instru oh, instruments. Select your origin origin instrument. It will. Okay, thank you for making that go away before I could finish reading it. Um, so do we want a bansuri? Do we want a tambura? Do we want an old? Or do we want a shell? Now it is, but I'm it's down. <laughs> One of the many, many, many types of guitars. <laughs> Fair. Larian Studios. I have the um, chat pop up here too, so that we don't have to actually look at them. Yeah. Well, actually, it all happened. I knew it would. single drop of source magic. And, like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. Okay. I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. I was gonna say, I just saw all of the like source. I'd come here to kill God Woken. But instead, I became part of their story. a bit groggy are we don't worry the sedative will wear off soon enough okay sure easy now no need to hurry get your bearings and report to me upstairs i appear to be locked to a table so i don't know how you expect me to do that oh. okay i remember starting on it so okay but i don't i did not play it through not like it, or the things I do to complete uh, a contract. Oh, gotcha. Oh, bucket helmet. <laughs> I apparently have a bucket helmet now, so how I access my. Uh, okay. Um, and my captain ship is on fire, maybe? Equipment. Cool. I'm gonna wear a bucket on my head. 
It lowers my initiative, but it gives me some armor, so yeah, it's better than nothing. Yeah, let me break out my uh, let me break out my instrument. Do uh, play some Jennifer here. Black Pat's musician. Equipment. I honestly don't know how to use my instrument. I know I have a starting instrument. Maybe I don't have it yet. Junk. Okay, can I take it, please? Rubbish. Actually, <laughs> use move attack. And use... Ooh. Oh, nothing in the desk. There's a letter clearly sitting right on top of there. You are telling me I cannot take and examine the letter. I'm gonna snuff this candle though, just to spike it. Um, how about the books? Can I do anything with the books? Cannot. Uh, That seems okay so far. I'm gonna use hay through the wall. Did you expect a needle? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. So do I climb the ladder? Oh, this is the tutorial deck. Uh huh. Top hold crate is blocking the doorway. Face the crate and press X to bring up the action menu. Select move and move the crate out of the doorway. Okay. There. I'll just throw you on top of there with my magic, I guess. Well, that explains the smell anyway. Move my needle sack. I don't think I need another bucket. Shaking her sheep. fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully, her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. Sure. Pick up a bucket with water. Oh, eggs in the hen house. Nice. I got an egg. Ooh, do I want to pick up the box? Yeah, let's see if I can equip the box. If there's any better armor. I don't know why I picked up the box. Oh. Lock some keys. Hold down A. I can find all the searchable items in the in the area, and then I can just pick them from a list and search them instead of having to individually go to them. That is weird, but I like it. I can do like wah, and then oh, I'm gonna take this food, all that's mine now, in this letter. I don't want the old plate. Let's look at the shelf. Healing potion. Okay. Bishop Alexander, leader of the Divine Order, get close and show our benefactor why the Silver Claw is the most feared among the Lone Wolves. Sure. For some aid with your mission, seek Magister Boris in the ghetto. Speak our motto, Glacau Dumar, to identify yourself. May the moonlight in your tracks roost and long. I feel like that's Gaelic, but I don't know enough Gaelic to know for sure. As soon as we get to Fort Joy, it'll be time to have words with this Boris fellow. Box. Did I just drop the box? Did I pick to combine the box? I don't know. Oh. 
Uh, order from Guard Stewart. It's going to our attention again that several of you are bypassing the cargo hold security measures by sliding boxes onto pressure plates. Ah. Got it. Thank you. Can I just throw it? Yeah, I'm just going to just drop it. I don't need that anymore. Ooh, pocket knife. Okay, I got shit. Got it. Thank you. You already told me about inventory. Oh wow, move real slow and wild. Take this rope, please. Magister Guard snorts and sniffles as he sleeps. You're almost impressed that one man can make such a phlegmy racket. Boop the crates. Boop. It's <laughs> my shift over. Are you here to relieve me? Absolutely. I'm in so much trouble. I didn't think that was going to wake him up. Uh, we're in a locked door area and we're a prisoner. Wait, you're no Magister. You're a sorcerer. What are you doing here, filthy scrounger? I'm a Choose rogue. Your words, I don't use magic. My fists ache. To meet a new face. My finesse is good. My constitution is okay. My wits is standard, so I'm gonna try the finesse one. <laughs> Those idiots can't even walk straight without mucking it up. <laughs> was it Ricks? <laughs> I bet it was Ricks. You can't just leave the prisoner alone, though. I heard he might be the one causing trouble upstairs. Um, hmm. All three of these stats are exactly the same for me, but... If it's all the same. I think it's best he comes with me. Oh, okay. Alright, well, if I had known that, I would have talked to this guy first. Can I talk to this guy first? Hey! Hey! Get me out of this cage! Well, I got you out of the... Okay. I got you out of your cage! That's what you wanted, right? Hurry up, sorcerer. We haven't got all day. Oh, he's... Oh! Yep, he's oh! 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 oh. Well, that's how we Alright, well, I guess we're beating the crap out of this guard. Uh, or I'm not gonna. Okay. Oh, so much for a peaceful stroll. Can you turn on me? Oof. Uh, okay, got it. Alright, so. Thanks, you jerk. I was gonna let you out, I just. Order of operations unclear, okay? It's not my fault. Um, how do I, ping. I don't want to ping, I want to, uh, can I, can I equip my ship? I feel like I'm going to need to equip my ship. Cool. Um, okay, I think I'm attack, not enough AP. Okay, 
hot bar. What can I do? Okay, sure. Soul Wolf. I have a Soul Wolf. Um, encourage, Sucker Punch. Uh, six to seven, and oh, six to seven damage and knocks him down. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, oh, I, I got water, but. Let's do... Let's do Backlash next. What do you mean invalid target? Maybe... Yeah. I don't know. 8 meter range. I th so I have to be 8 meters away? That is not what I assume. jerk. Eating the bodies. Oh, he's got a golden spoon. Okay. And that's gonna come back to bite us. Oh well. Electric discharge scroll. Okay. Probably not. Okay, thank you. These tutorials are just a little bit too much. Um, another bucket. A mattress. I had would be for this, but I guess not. Bust them tight. Oh, lever. Use the lever. There we go. I don't think there's anything in here either. Um, can you? Oh, there we go. There's camera mode control. All right. Ah, there we go. So a bowl, a bucket, ball and chain, shitty mattress. Behave, you two. Oh, it's probably for this door. It's flammable in this game. Alrighty then. Ooh, four gold. Medical cabinets. Okay, source rack. Don't know what that is. Oh, that's okay. That's a, a bet. Anything else in your search? Uh, another medical cabinet. Empty. Dang it! Why? These are some useless medical cabinets that there's nothing in them. Potion. Yeah. Nothing else to do here. Potion. Yeah. There. All right. Well. No key. No problem. Carpet. Stool. Ooh, a deck of cards. Yes, please. And another deck of cards. And I'm back where I started. 
Nowhere to go but up. This is a true statement. Just to make sure. No, there was nothing else really here. Okay. I guess we're done with the tutorial area. Oh, gee. Chronicles. Empty. Right. Shawless skull. Sure, we'll take that. It's a helmet. Oh, it is? Cool. I'm pretty sure. Grotesque jar. Yeah, sure. Boring. Medical cabinet. Arrow shaft. Okay. Pot still. Do I have any liquor? Oh, crafting. Ah. Um, oh. I don't really know what to make, though. Okay, so I don't waste items at least. Alright. Oops. Nothing. And skull with candle. Alright, let's see. Nope, skull is not a helmet. Turns out there's just too much on the screen. <laughs> I've obviously read something else. Chala skull. Actions. We have too long presumed source is a virtuous part of civil society, yet we need look no further than the past than the source king's reign to understand the havoc such magic may wreak. One day another order must follow the source hunter's footsteps. Sorcerers can, must be muted. The new model of source callers provided by Vredemen is providing most effective. Okay. Chipper. Yes. Looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice bit of work, even if I do say so myself. I'm just gonna check this girl over. Okay. Alright, what do you need, lady? There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. Cool. In the meantime, nice. your next stop will be Magister Wizard. Patrick, the All passengers have to be registered. I mean, I have a knife. Manifest. I could just, like, and he's the go for the jugular. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Uh... Ooh. Below deck suffered a fatal encounter. Do we want to go that route, or do we just want to? Oh, like what? Uh, well, I mean, you, you know what? Didn't kill the guard though. We didn't kill the guard. That's we didn't right. Kill the guard. That's right. We killed the guy that killed the guard. So we'll tell her. Is that. he? Oh well, some problems simply sort themselves, don't they? All right. The good fine. ship Merryweather, but you can stand at ease there, Private. You do realize you're not in the army here, don't you? Eh, details. Index fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. Okay. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that anything? sedative. No, I got a, got a shower and that's not all the time I have. I was going to say, there's another one of those breakfast sandwiches down there if you want to go make one. Why are you being so fussy? Why are you the fussy one today? Last night, Chippy was the one that was being super fussy, and now it's you. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. 
Hooray! A new life awaits, and if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. Hmm. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? I'm a rogue. See what happens. Okay, well that guy needs to get... Report. I think it's bot account. Yes, and block him. Okay, and we're just going to... Can I also get rid of his message? That will do, we'll just, we'll just clear chat. There we go. Okay, cool. You recall the power building inside you remember? The wolf of your soul manifesting unleashed. Right. Currents of magic surge inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. Okay, sure, why not? My, look at the concentration on your face. All will, but no result. The collar's function, it neuters you of sorts, makes you unable to cast the source. Okay, sure. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Alright. She doesn't need to know about the, the dead guy under uh, the uh, dead knight. Um, let's take a look at journals. No um, indications of a struggle. Mm-hmm. Okay, Chronicles, what are Chronicles? There's a murderer on board with us. Alexander, Alexander's advisor, Dallas, noticed that the Void Woken are attracted to Source. Uh huh. Not by, the divine sacrifice did not buy peace. The rise of the Void Woken brought the world death, destruction, and fear, illusion, the divine chamber, and the other the Void. So now we're going with the divine order. Okay. Bloody murder. Looks like someone's hit the Horn of Echoes a little early. I'm guessing that's an afterlife thing. Okay, fine. Ugly sight, isn't it? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and followed the source that did this. She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. Yeah, what do you know? I'm, I'm just a little tuckered out. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. <laughs> indisputably. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. I feel like that's a possibility. I thought as much. Listen. I could use someone to keep Ooh. their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a unit. Oh yeah, I'm down. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Thanks. I just want to... Huh? You know what? That's, that's fine. I'm down with that. Like, there's no reason to be a dick about it. A bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't... There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time. 
Or you'll be a suspect like the rest so of us. So a sorcerer is somebody who uses source magic. I guess that's different. Water is investigating in this. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. Why? Are you surprised? You were one of them. You know what sorcerers are capable of. Whoever did this found a way around their collar and killed a man. The guy downstairs, did he have a collar or not? Because he was casting magic. So did he find a way around it, or did he not... Small ones this time, thank the gods. We'll find out who did it. Oh, wait a second. I have sneakies. How do I... How do I snap? Stealth. How do I stealth? How does one stealth? Uh, barrel, nothing, barrel, nothing, broken bottle. Oh, I wonder if broken bottle functions as an offhand weapon. No, okay. these crates empty like that seems if you're on a big ship bound with, you know like prisoners bound for an island you'd think you'd want some supplies i'll give fun. you that knuckle if you keep no. carrying on gods didn't your mother teach you any manners one of us okay so they picking us off one Ooh, bottle of beer yes please can we uh, just skip pot. to the part where uh, i reassure you beer. In uh, let's look in the sack nothing lots of baskets <laughs> Nothing and... and so oh. Surely. Uh, one barrel. Oh, I just took that. Anyway? I didn't need to take that. Um, I'll tell okay. you if you can keep it quiet long enough for me to listen. Let's see what we can drop. I, do, I don't think I need that water barrel in the slightest. Um, can I just drop it? Yes. Okay. I don't need the kitchen pot. I thought I was searching it, not taking it. And let's see what the jug. I'll just drop that. I uh, probably don't need the envelope and stuff, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, you think I'm going to throw it around? I'm trying to concentrate. They don't care about us. We're like cattle to them. I'll give you that knuckle if you keep carrying on. One of us will Ooh. kill our own. Then we're we'll getting us off one by one. Nice. Can we just skip to the part where oh, I? Oh, are they usable or are up? they? Hmm. You think me mad? Mad? Why is there no gear? Oh, I'm so disappointed. Like, I understand I'm a prisoner on board of a ship, but I I can't stand looting so much and not finding any goodies. Oh, it's driving me nuts. Second deck? How do you have multiple hot... I don't understand how the hard bar system works yet. And a lock and key. Hey, Victor. Recognition growing on his face as he looks right at you. Oh no. You, you look just like. No, I don't. I have a bucket on my head. I don't look like anything but the a Magister's bucket. His face turns white. He makes a move to step backwards, then stops himself as his hand closes on the weapon at his hip. Oh no. Does he know me from the war? It is you. Ifan Ben Mezd. I remember you. You were my captain's commander way, way back in the war. How dare you classify this slot as food? I've seen more The Magister's eyes darken. His face closes over into a cold I mean, mask. why not? Let's go whole hog at this point. I always knew you'd end up down low. Lower even than us nobodies in the rank and file. The higher the climb, the louder the splat when you fall. And Fort Joy, you're about to fall further than you thought possible. And I'll be listening for the splat. I'm sure you will. Happy landings. 
Oh, I will be happy to stick a knife between your rib cage at some point. I am sure it's gonna happen. Alright, let's talk to the Maya. I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers, too. Meanwhile, the magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. The indignant. So she was some snobby noble and now she's nothing. I'm fine with that. Well, well. What have we here? A fresh face in this So he was one of the other playables. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. The lizard looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. <laughs> you know what? Humor. Hmm. There's some discoloration, but I've seen worse. After all, one can't expect to find prime merchandise on a squalid little ship like this. Now, right. to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? Ah, music to my beleaguered stomach. Ooh, do, I, do we get the opportunity to cook? On to the second question. Can you knit, weave? In short, uh, tailor? Yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic, a bag is as good as a shirt kind of style. I sh On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate oh, art I'm sure of that uh, Ethan is very good with grooming. Oh, you made a whole turkey sandwich. The very basics. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. So, this guy it, is currently evaluating me. He's one of the, he was one of the other, like, playable characters, so... As per your own testimony, you can cook and groom, but you have the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit. Mm, I'm gonna use that. I'm a prisoner, word. dude. Give me some break. Beggars can't be choosers. So without further ado, I offer you my sincerest congratulations. As of now, you are my slave. I mean, like, part of me just kind of wants to humor it, but the other part of me is like, he's overreaching. Eh, sure, of course not? you accept. Mine wasn't an offer, it was an order. Anyway, you may leave me for a moment. We'll go over your duties once we reach Fort Joy. Now shoot! See, my main thought is at least I'm in his pocket, which means he's kind of in my pocket. So we have a little bit of a headway with him. A broad dwarf sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, boy. You hear that? The ship, of course. Um, sure. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash, and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. So the ship's in poor condition is what you're trying to say. And? Sick as a leper's cat. From the state of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch of beardless babes who never loved anyone but their own mums. But there's more. Listen close. There now, just like that. Squeak! Aha! Rats? His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard it, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. That's... That's the wheel. The wheel. Don't you see, you beautiful idiot? Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we are heading east. He's not going to leave it alone. He wouldn't leave it alone whenever I didn't have the chair there.
Actually, I'm going to see if I can do a thing real quick here. Can I get rid of, can I clean that? Uh, chat log. Is there a way I can refresh this? I saw a clear chat button. Yeah, the clear chat clears the chat log um, in here, but it doesn't actually get rid of what's on screen because the overlay. Oh, that's weird. Now, we'll just turn that off until somebody posts something worth actually having there. Well, I have it open on my phone, so I should be able to see it. Well, I got it pulled up there, too, so. Okay. All right, the wheel, and I'm a beautiful idiot. Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks clockwise, which means we're heading east. God, okay. my beard. That means if we've been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Um. Captain, actually. Okay, so he's that figure captain. tells me we're getting close to the joy, close to what lies beyond it too. Okay, I'm guessing some old pirate legend about treasure hidden in Fort Joy. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. He continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. Okay, fine. Whatever. Jerk, what about you? Yeah. You one of them? A divine order loyal. They killed the sorcerer, you know. They'll hide the evidence well enough, but make no mistake. Okay, conspiracy theorist, I guess. <laughs> Dare you classify right, how about you, buddy? Name? I've seen more advertising things coming out of Well, you aren't here on my list. Scrammy, we're trying to catch a killer here. Oh, he's trying to inspect ever he's he's like making the rounds and he's making the rounds. Oh, right. While you're away, um we found out that there was a dead body. Um, somebody got like super murderized. And they don't suspect us because we were knocked out getting collared at the time. So the, the one um, jail uh, uh, guard woman majesty. is like, hey, Maybe I'll slip you some coin if you can help me figure out who did than your The elf is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. He looks up, his big round eyes scanning your body, absorbing every detail. Okay. He reaches out and takes your hand, turning it this way and that, examining it from every angle. Finally, he pinches your skin, gently tugging at it. I don't think I'm dehydrated. Fascinating. He sits back and yep. returns to his book, flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. <laughs> hmm? uh, oh no, my instinct to survive is quite strong, as with all mortals. I'm not sure why you would... Oh, oh dear, I seem to have crossed some <laughs> cultural taboo. How difficult. <laughs> you have my apologies, human. Perhaps I should demand the same from those red-cloaked humans. They laid their hands on me more than once. I've seen more advertising things coming out of plague-stricken pigs. Ah, yes. The niceties. My name is Fane. I am a scholar from... Well, I am a seeker of knowledge. That is enough. <sighs> okay. It is pleasurable to meet you. Is there? Wherever do you keep it? Certainly not in your books. I have been reading this one for several minutes, and I have yet to find a single insight into the mysteries of the universe. The audio quality seems a little weird, like the voices sound a little echoey. It is simultaneously too detailed and okay. insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. Tell me, what do you know of your our world's history? stuff so i have a soldier background i have a human background and i have my personal background um, oh please i have no interest in that no i want to know about the celestial i want to know about your gods this text tells me that they created all creatures but nothing of what came before where did these gods come from who are their people? Where are the others of their kind? <sighs> of course.
course you don't have any useful information. Mm. Why did I expect anything else? Jerk now out. please run along. I have a world to do. No amount of pestering will get the elf to take his own. Okay, fine. Hey. hey. Here's a register, right. sir. Good, good. Magister Williams is just about done with the last passenger. You faring okay so far? Trust me, with Bishop Alexander in charge, things will get a lot better from here on out. He's god -woken, you know. Hmm. You head on in now. Williams will get you short and fast. Me either. And if she... Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous-looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it, then? You murdered that poor fella. Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Wendigo. I hate that. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. Just there are others whose lives, lives must end. <laughs> Good God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Um... It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... Now oh, we're getting into another fight. She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. I'm just about to create a scene. Subdue her, man, quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end us all. Source is a type of magic. I got that much from a little bit of detail about the game. I guess it's a special kind of magic, and it's a bad kind of magic, I guess. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. All right. Oh. Yeah. Crossbows. You guys had crossbows. I would like a crossbow, please. I'll take a wine now. Broken source collar. We'll take that. I don't care about the cup, bench, candlebar. Okay. Uh, chest with confiscated. Ooh. There we go. Um. Don't know if I care about a lot of this. Um. Definitely take the knives though, because those are mine. Yeah. Oh, the shiv and the pocket knife are exactly the same. Thanks, they are. I have two. <laughs> Keep one of each. Okay. Ooh, another deck of cards. What if I do? None of you had a key. Why did none of you have a key? Oh, lock this plate case. Uh, ow. Fire! Well, there's something in the display case I'd like to actually Fire! Do Fine. <laughs> Fine. There's some water. Ooh. Can you? Okay, there we go. Let me take it. I'm sure there's a reason. Oh, I didn't talk to you before. Huh? She's in a heap on the floor. She's breathing normally, but her eyes are wide open, like those of a... Alright, how about you? Oh, what? What happened? Must have been the turnips. Water? Why, for goodness sake? Oh. The lizard's eyes close as he's... Hey, how about the dwarf? The dwarf lies in a heap on the floor. His great beard twisted and tangled around him. He is stock still. You can't see if he's living or dead. 
You'd think the dwarves would be able to hold up a little bit better to that kind of thing. Oh, hey. It's the dude that insulted us earlier. Oh, I didn't talk no, to you yet either. Not the final dark. Not yet. Her hand lies limp in the dice room darkly. They're wrong in for you. Okay. Okay, well. Is there like anything I can do? Super dead. All right. Uh, another shirt. Cool. Nothing there. Nothing there. Ooh, a poetry book. Sure. A chunk of flesh. Okay. Elves can eat limbs to experience memories of the person that wants. Okay. Awesome. That's a thing. Oh, you. The Magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleak. Okay. Everybody gonna die, yes? Uh, I'm gonna take your book, okay? Uh, can, I, can I have your book, please? Can I have your... It's it's letting me highlight it for like a second. You know, we'll do it this way. Give me a dang book. The book. That's fine. She's probably gonna die anyway. Hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? I just lies on the. Oh, well, that wasn't worth it. Oh well. The hatch is blocked. I'll need to find another way. Uh, right. There was another door. There was another stairs up over here near where I got attacked. Sad some of these guys got died, but Metris just went and screw her. She was she was dirt. Oh! He just turned around. And a herring. Alright. So that's gotta be this room over here, I'd imagine. Okay. Uh, is there a It's like the one thing, if I'm playing a game, I can't stand not being able to pick locks. Oh! This other shirt actually gives me armor. Oh! Alright. Fair enough. So fussy today, boy. How? snaps into splinters. Knockdown arrow, sharp piece of metal, crafting components, yay. Do I want to take a rest? Damn. I take a rest while that doesn't bode well. Onwards and upwards. We're just going to take a, we're going to just you know, take a nap for a little bit. Okay. Stick that in my pocket. 
in my pocket and it's very nice stained up blood. I need to get off this wreck. Quick. Alright. So stuff's gone to hell over here, so. Alright, a little bit of money. Please don't step on that. Bloody mittens and stained pants. Hey, I'm getting armor. Bloody mittens. So you'd think those would be some kind of glove. There they are. Cool. Huh. was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You recognize the symbol immediately for what it is. A warning of death fog within. You press your palm against the door to open it. The wood feels neither cold nor warm, but simply gray. The color drains from your hand, and you are left numb. I'm gonna not go that way. Maybe later. Maybe if I find something that I think is gonna help with death fog. Down, buddy. our sponsor for today's stream, Webify. Um, so Webify is a... Oh, okay. oh Fane, wait a second, didn't I talk to you upstairs? Uh, Webify is a website that lets you buy your own website. Set it up, I think they just do hosting. Um, I will have to get some, I should have gotten some details. I should have looked this up before I had time. Eh. Um, but no, it's an awesome um, local uh, local to us uh, web hosting uh, company here. They're doing a special promo offer with us uh, from now until the end of December. Um, if anybody signs up uh, for a website with Webify, um, they'll uh, make a donation to uh, Extra Life uh, via our um, charity. Um, and then I'll go to uh, Janet White's uh, children's hospital. Um, like all of the gearboxing donations are. Um, so it's a great uh, way to help out some, some kids and families in need and don't have to do anything special besides just sign up for a, a website. So if you're interested, uh, the website is whywebify.com. W H Y W E B I F Y dot com. Alright, let's see what the heck uh, they pass through the door and are suddenly face to face with an undead. His skull is bizarrely angular, and a glorious jewel sits in the middle of his forehead. Wait a second, this is the elf I talked to upstairs. The skeleton is quickly leafing through a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia, muttering How to How did he get turned undead? No, no, no! What damn fools record knowledge on a pulped tree? It catches fire, it turns into must when wet, it cannot even resist acid! No wonder they're so bloody ignorant. The skeleton looks up and notices you for the first time. Oh, it's you. Shouldn't you be running and screaming or some such? The skeleton groans and looks back to his book, frantically... I know your god did not gift you with much, but kindly use the little you were given. Do you look at me and think, why, yes, there is someone with organs enough to drown? No, nope. damp robes are the most I have to fear. Once this glorified skiff, whereas you, I believe, 
have lifeboats to pointlessly squabble over. The skeleton holds up his book. <laughs> I am trying to discover if there is anyone worth saving. And I will be uh -huh. damned if I let the lives of some mayflies get in my way. Go on, go, swim or drown or to... See, now, he's an undead. I am sure he could go through the uh, death fog without any troubles. Uh, but, like, I get the feeling he's not going to cooperate with me. Uh, I'm going to do a quick save. The moment you touch the door, your it doesn't budge. The door groans open. But... Alright, we're going to see how this works. Death fog. I need to get out of here now! like insta-death death fog, or is it like it'll hurt you a little bit over time death fog? Because one I'm super good with. Um, got nothing. Is there like anything? No, not really. Uh, there's gotta be something over here, right? Oh, no, that's insta-death death fog. Fair enough. Uh, this is why I click saved. It doesn't the door. Is there any reason? Something's breaking through! What is the hell is the most? I need to get out of here now! Oh wait, can I? Can I throw a candle over there? Is death fog ignitable? That's a good question. Um Take the candle over here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick this up. Thanks, Fran. Fran, Fane, Fane, Fane. Who's Fane? Thanks, Fane. Oh, right. And we're gonna come over here. What's that? Uh, Fane is an undead. Oh, an undead elf. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I took this candle off of him and I'm gonna try to throw it in the death fog and see if that'll uh, ignite it or something. Nope. So yeah, um, I figure Fane could probably go through the death fog without any trouble because he is one undead dude, but um, he's just being crabby. So I thought maybe he could join my party and I could make him go through the death fog for me. Because I'm sure there's something good in there, otherwise there wouldn't be a reason for us to be able to go in that room at all. Ow. Dang it. I gotta stop stepping in the fire. Oh, and the death fog is insta-kill, by the way. I thought, oh, maybe it's just like slow damage over time. No, it was insta-kill. That's like, alright. Hey. Please, my time is short. Although yours, I gather, is infinitely shorter. Use a button. And I guess we're going upstairs. There's not much else to do here. Uh, there's a doggo. But... Oh, wait, no, there were some guys back over here. I was going to check on them. I forgot. Uh, let's take a little nap first so I can get some HP back. Stabbed a door to death. Hands, short stick. Thank God. By divine grace, who was that howling? Magister Murtaugh. He eyes the collar circling your neck and reaches a hand towards his blade. Oh no, don't do that. Another sorcerer! Uh, I rushes to the collar. Thought you don't or know. Mutiny! Did that witch fix your collar too? Um, let's try that one. Okay. Alright, whatever. That's fine. I'll just kill you. It's okay. Uh, it's not okay, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, where's my sneaky... Ah! There. I don't remember doing any of this, but I know I played this game. <laughs> I, and I remember getting to, like, the thing that's attacking the ship. But I don't remember any of this, so maybe I had really high intelligence and just passed everything with a check. Uh, maybe. Uh, 
Oh, I lost one of my abilities. That's sad. I don't know. It's just not there. Uh, there was the one ability I had that... Oh. Okay, no, these aren't it. Um, there was the one ability I had that let me um, do like a... a I don't wanna, uh, knock somebody down, that was it. It was that knockdown ability. absolutely hit me. Um, let's do... Let's flurry this dude. I hope one of these guys drops a great sword for you. <laughs> What's that? I hope one of these guys drops a great sword for you. <laughs> ah, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what they got. Oh, another hop, another eyeball. Great. Oh, and some shoes. I'll take shoes. You had nothing. Ah, Alexander. Just in case we forget who holds us captive. Is there There's really nothing else I can do with it? Hold me up. That's too heavy. That's what I figured. Alright, I guess I don't need the bust. Um... Oh, come on. That's got to be one of those loads that has a wet bar or something in it. Don't tell me it's not. And you thought Rivalon was flat. Oh, i another painting. You already deserve those guys. Um, take a shabby letter. Resurrection scroll. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, do we want to destroy painting? Yeah, why not? Uh, that one didn't say forgery. Oh. That one said destroy. Oh. Yeah, there's some letters I should read. Alright, shabby letter. This letter contains a set of instructions for transporting sorcerers to a place called the Joy, but someone has inked an angry blank black line from the top left to the bottom right. Okay. Uh, Murtoff, Death Paw girls have been locked in the storerooms. Stay out, you and Rick's both. If anyone starts fooling around down there, it'll be lights out. Captain Calvin. Alright, anything else for me to read? Nope. Not that I haven't already read. Okay. I guess we're on upstairs. There was like a sprinter dash or something. Doggo, are you gonna? All right, that's fine. Can't save the doggo. Ow! Stop running through fire. I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. I didn't know I was going to be getting into a fight, or I would have not gone up here. Uh, let's move over there, and then let's do a knife throw. Uh, anything else I can do? Healing potion. Yes, please. There we go. Oh, 
this isn't one of the oh right, this is the other one. Mhm. [noise] This is [inaudible 1:46:52.53] one Or second controller. Okay. There we go. So, we're going to [noise] All right. Gonna get behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Like that. You guys can count it. You still alive. Yes. Um Cool. We're all lumpy Jimbos. Yum yum. Um I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go back downstairs and I'm gonna take a little rest. Uh cuz I'm in real bad shape. Actually, I'm gonna move my hands outta the way for now. Cuz I'm gonna be dealing with that. Ah So, armor only works once in a combat? And then it's done? That seems odd. Or at least that seems like it's what it was doing. Like, the first hit I took, all my armor was like, gone. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. And then after that like, my armor didn't seem to have any effect. Okay, sorry. I was just gonna find that card. I was like, "Jump slash" do a jump down? I uh well, no I took damage. Okay, so now I take damage. Oh, no I took Yeah, I took two. That's why I think you're all good. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Oh yeah, you do. Ah, damn it. No, I I damn it I don't wanna pick up a water barrel. Stop. [laughs] Just take water. I think they're regular barrels and I tried to search and it's like, "Oh, you want to pick up this barrel." No. I wanna pick up the one that's in the water. Oh, it's a life guard. What is this? Oh, it's just extra life. Yeah. Oh, it's not worth [noise] Shit. [noise] That's all right. Yeah. No, that's all right. Okay. Can I can I have the attack please? The attack is just to get more health. [laughs] That's all it does. [noise] Oh, okay. Um [noise] Yeah, I'm gonna take the high road. [noise] Oh shoot. Go Shandie. [noise] Amazing. So much friendly fire. Oh, sorry. [noise] Yeah, I'm running out of a tongue soon. [laughs] [noise] Okay, um Well, we're good. Hmm? We're good? Did you go a little far already? Oh, no, I went a little further north. Oh, okay. Yeah. [noise] Yeah, that's fine. [noise] Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. Cool. [noise] Well, that was fun. Good for a while. [noise] Good thing you don't work in the other room. I was all done working in the other room. If you want, you can come over and help me. Okay. Now, should I just get rid of this crap? Yeah, go. [noise] Rip some crap. [laughs] [noise] [noise] Do you have a bag? Huh? [noise] I do, what're you gonna do with it? Pick up the crap that's in the dishwasher. Yeah. Thank you. I think the bag's in there. Hold on. Yeah, it's right behind the laundry. Just hold on. Yeah, I'll look at the, can you pass my phone Nikki? [inaudible 1:21:17.41] [noise] Twist it. Ooh, these are hot. [laughs] Mhm Hmm. Probably a fork would be best. Take a bit of it out. Oop- [noise] Oh, spoon. Oops, sorry. Oops. [inaudible 1:21:34.16] Oh spoon. Oh, spoon. Oh, spoon. You can pass me one of those [noise] Here you go. Over here. No, no, 
still ended up getting lit up a little bit. Captain Calwin! Finding Radiant Scroll. I'll take it. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to mess with the uh, big tentacle. Nah, I'm probably going to ignore that. Ow. 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 Um. I mean, there's some girls over there. Probably not worth it, though. Alright. Lifeboat. at one of the nearby ropes to no avail. Hmm. You said there were other people down there. We we need to help them. You think those tentacles, kid? It's time for get the hell out of here. Hmm. Uh, the dwarves have a high sense of uh... Yeah. You said ladder. I saw the first ladder. I went down. Okay. All right. Now probably is now is the time where we're gonna be like, okay, pick who you want to go with you. Uh, oh come on. I'm already in not a good shape. Can I just not? Yeah, yeah, butthead. Not over here. He was over this way. Doggy, will you come with us, please? I guess not. Okay. Doggy's going down with the ship. I just realized I'm super out and out of camera. <laughs> please, my time is short. 
Okay. Uh, I suppose so. Alright, whatever, Faint. I mean, I guess you're an undead, so it's not really gonna affect you that much, but whatever. I tried. Um, I guess I'm gonna go up. I, I wish I could drop down from there instead of having to find a stairway. Not, oh, did they assume I came out of the same spot? Or did I rescue them and I got screwed in the process? Oh, I rescued them and got screwed in the process. I have plans for you, child. Alright. Alright. Okay. Honorable Dallas. We lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Oh, so that big kraken thing is the Voidwoken. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Orivan. I remember right. I think this game takes place mostly on like the. I think the the setting is like very water based. There's like lots of ships and pirates and stuff. So that's probably why the void woke is such a big problem. Not a life, kind of. So the order's right about one thing. We are trapped, void woken. Am I the lone survivor? I got two achievements for that. Only one way to find out. I live here. The game is so pretty. Even by place. Yeah. I mean, this isn't like a terribly old game either, so. No, but it's come a long way since this game. You've discovered a waypoint. Then Cobb allows you to escape when you discover a waypoint. You can also tra quick travel with the waypoints. Yay! I like quick travel. Especially whenever you <laughs> don't have dash abilities. Any man who put his likeness in stone is a fool in my book. Which man? Um, oh, wait, was it this one? I don't know. I think no. it was like yesterday. What was I playing yesterday? No, it wasn't this one. This has a small mirror in his hands. Just trying to remember he what holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, you the crown of his head. Man. He spots you, and his arms snap to his side. That was the only thing I remember you played yesterday. Because I definitely remember complaining about not having quick travel. <laughs> no, I remember that. I just don't remember what game. I remember. Hmm. I'm scared. Because we were both here, obviously. to talk to strangers. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Void things. The child screws up his face and looks at you hard. He lifts his mirror up to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. I don't see any source on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. No one cares where I go. They know I can't leave the island. It's nicer out here than inside anyway. But you didn't die. Yes, I am, but it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. You'll see. Alright. Sure, kid. Not least this is a safe area. <laughs> I guess. As safe as we're gonna get is what I heard from that. Okay. Yes. Post ring! And a fork! It's useless. Fork! Did you even break it down? Sell it? Do I don't know, but its description literally said useless. Mm -hmm. I'll take it with you anyway. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I 
but I did find like a lot of goodies uh, while while you were down getting the cat's food. So I found some bunch of parts that I can use, like I think, to make bows and stuff. Boots and decks of cards. Three decks of cards. Don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I know I got them. How could those be any less useless than uh, who knows? Or any more useful than the one here? I mean, either way, who knows? I mean, I know there's crafting in this game. I just haven't gotten far enough to know what the heck to do with it yet. <laughs> Sight range indicator. There are enemies ahead by sneaking around. Ah! Down on the D-pad. You turned into a bush. <laughs> That's I didn't right. get this far. I only I only did the ship. Maybe it's a different demo or something. I, I could have been. I don't. I know it was a very long time ago to the point where I can't really remember. <laughs> What's over here? Are they more of this? Oh, the sluggy boys. I always those again. Void woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Ah, damn. They made it to shore. Can I sneak attack him? I'd, I'd be very careful. Oh, I'm... Sneaking fail. Yeah, because I backstabbed him. Um... Alright, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do... Flurry. And that should come with all of his life. Oh, you're kidding me. He's got one life left. One HP left. Alright, let's see. I'm still source muted. Um well, it doesn't mean you can't swing something around and hit or <laughs> do like anything. Does my attack just take two I guess it does. Because maybe couldn't you just attack with one? Hypothetically. I don't know, though, but alright. That's fine. We're we're okay. Uh let's next go. Then I got a bunch of potions in my hand. Oh, okay. Not fair. Alright, let's do. Can I, how much would it take me to run around behind him? One pip. Okay. We'll take one pip to run behind him. We'll do the backstab. And then if he's not dead, I'll. Uh... Oh. Oops. That was only supposed to take two, not three. Oh, I'm oh, fading. That's not good. Nah, that's okay. No, we should be okay. He dead. I thought these bloody collars were supposed to keep those things. The face is familiar. What's left of it? He was aboard the ship. Was he? I thought all the guards died. Yeah, I thought they were all dead. In fact, I'm pretty sure I searched that guy's corpse on the ship already. Mm -hmm. Oh well, whatever. Are you this yeah, I remember. I know there was like one that wasn't dead, but it was like not that one. <laughs> I don't think. There's at least one that wasn't dead. Leather scraps. Ooh, I'll take leather scraps. All right. Now, how do I use the? I don't know if these are like these get used up. Wait, what? Um, I don't have any characters yet, so I don't think Are so. Are you sure? Is that how it actually needs to work? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, let me do a quick save and we'll, uh, you know, not quick save, we'll do a regular save. Yeah. <laughs> um, gift bag features? What the heck are those? Oh, are these just things that you can, like, cheats essentially? Mm -hmm. Resurrected oh, yeah. Nice. Um, I'm gonna leave this alone, but I would hope. I mean, they probably ended up here. Yep. Sir Laura. It's a squirrel riding a dead squirrel. It's a riding a dead cat. Okay. Oh, 
That's fine. Yeah, you can. I'm okay with this. He's gonna follow you. I guess. I think he's like a temporary party member. It's crazy. Oh, hey, there's Prince. Uh, red something or other. You spot a strange lizard I mean, I got it, gazing like, in the wrong water with a stubborn, it. malcontent stare. His skin is of a oh, red, I'm his blood slave. red color. Could he be? Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Slave. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist. You lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. And a dutiful servant you are too. The chances are I wouldn't have survived that shipwreck had you not returned to the aid of your master down that dreadful hole. Get through. You have my gratitude. No, in all honesty, I killed one of them and they decimated the others. Hand so over heart. I don't know if I he did salutes that much. you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Hmm. Nevertheless, one good turn does deserve another, so as far as the whole slave business is concerned, let's just... <laughs> okay, asshole. You may as well have your freedom. Now then, if there's nothing further, if you really must know, I haven't quite decided yet. I've a frightful amount of things on my mind, hence my standing here contemplating the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell me, what do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Quiet. It goes for the dry parts round here too, I imagine. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Hmm. What do you mean, what do I mean? I mean just what I say. <laughs> I had a very actual empire that I lost. Okay. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Mm. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? Well, more's the damn pity, isn't it? <laughs> For I am the Red Prince, the All Conqueror, the World Tamer, the Spouse of the Sun. Okay, good for you. Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. I wonder if that's actually legitimate, like if he, in, in the lore, if he actually is some big conquering prince. Grandeur that is my fate has... Or if he's, like, got delusions of grandeur or something. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Okay. Truly. A kind offer indeed. And you've already proved I I ex on one condition. Uh huh. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer, one of the mystics of my kind. That's fine. That's I've fine. reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise sure. you will look for him, and I'll extend Promises. jolly good. So, now that that's settled, first things first. Uh -huh. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out <clears throat> goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic, and yes, even subterfuge. Hmm. What say you? I mean, I'm fine with that. Very well. Onwards then to victory Hello. or death. The Red Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Now, as you're away, you'll be traveling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your yeah, royal sure. highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, milord. As your luck would have it, 
I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it. You'll All right. Switching party members. members. Understood. But since we have that, you might be able to join now. Uh, save it again. Yep, I'm going to save here. Because it's supposed to do... Okay, I wonder if I have to... Main menu. I wonder if I have to do level up from the main... Or, um, story... Uh, load campaign? Oh, is it? It just says multiplayer level. It's supposed to be. I could have swore I read that on the page. Let's take a look. Uh, if I go to where's the story pay your store page? Uh, split screen co op. Oh, is it right there? Um, It's one of those things where I have to. Uh... Oh, I just oh, do that. Thing. Do that thing again. All right, hit X. You need to create a profile. There. Now you're joined. It. To... Okay, cool. So if we continue. Oh, yeah, to hit start. <laughs> simple as that. Dragon Prince, the Red Prince. Um, and I'm figuring out what I want to do as a level up. Uh, I'm going to add a point into memory and a point into finesse. The squirrel's nose twitches as you approach. But the creature turns away before you can say anything. It seems he doesn't want to talk. Okay, where is... Annexation. You should check out your gear, see if you got anything good. Uh, right trigger. Right trigger pulls up your menu.
strong and have lots of constitution and things. All right, um, civil abilities. Fever Ray. I'm picking them dang logs. <laughs> okay, I don't have any new talents yet. Um, and I only have my tags. Cool. All right, do you have any decent gear? If not, I think I can give you some stuff. I saw a barrel back here. Okay. Yeah. Twenty one gold, fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got some I got some decent clothes I can give you. Um Later. Um action Later. Lead party kick, attack, examine. Oh you can attack me now. Can you talk to me? I can talk. Is it no say. time for idle chit chat? Oh, I'm yeah. Um but there's gotta be a way I can give items. Actions you know what, I'll just, oh, send to the Red Prince. There we go. Cool, and so I gave you a pair of pants and a shirt. Did I give you a good pair of pants? I think I gave you bad pants. Okay, hold on. Uh, flick in on the right trigger, but they were, or right stick, but they were exactly identical. Pick up another sh good shirt though, where go. Those ones are, yeah. And here it is. This shirt, not that one. There you go. Have that. And. Yay! <laughs> right. Do I have anything else good I can give you? Um, do you have a pointy, sticky thing? I have a knife on a stick. <laughs> it does better than what the other thing is I could give you, so. Oh! Right, I have a poetry book. Um, nah, it looked like terrible poems. Oh, the ancient book, right, what was this? The Source King insists there are no magics too foul, even those that would block or even remove the source from an individual. I delight in this madness. It is an invitation to manipulate all which once believed immutable. He provides all manner of experimental subjects, the text beneath which uh, hex materials, the uh, helm color mask. Okay. Cool. Oh. I'm not going to do any. I'm going to keep the herring for now. Um, Captain's note. Death fog. Barrels. Uh, source transporter. Okay. Alright. I guess that's all the important stuff for now. Than me. I am a slow wizard too. Oh, there's a yellow like cat. Ooh. Maybe my luck is about to. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Its eyes clear, and it shakes its head. Okay. The cat's eyes are its eyes. Oh. I think it's gonna follow us too. Yay, kitty! An undead cat, a living cat. Ooh, a skull. I pick up this one. Okay. Uh, sure, I got another hair. I pick up garbage. Ooh, a shovel. Not a shovel! If you find a suspicious thing looking bound, you'll be able to dig Ooh. something up. Oh, also, hot bar. I need to get rid of this, because. Clear that. Oops. What did I just do? I don't know. What did you just do? I just Maybe. Oh snap! What? I can control if it's split or not. Well, it's if you do certain things it splits. No, no I don't want that. I can split it. Yeah. But I mean, so certain other things also oh, split it. Yeah. Alright. Kind of Let me know if you see a suspicious looking mount because I now have a shovel. Out for secret passages, rebellion that's full of hidden levers, pressure plates, and tatches. Try walking through the hanging vines. Ooh, yes, please. Those are not hanging vines. Oh, there's hanging vines. This clearly obvious passage. What's this? 
I found something. I can't zoom in and out of the camera. I wonder where this needs. There we go. Uh, ooze barrel. Oh, I picked it up. Oh, oh thanks. Thank. Opens up. You see the same. Oh. He's leaning over a corpse, prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to. Oh. Perhaps. Planning how to wear his skin. Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling <gasps> sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Damnation! Oh, that stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? Ah! No! Stay back! Don't! Oh, it's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. It seems the human that stole my mask was rather more resourceful than I gave her credit for. Somebody stole your mask? I chased her here, but she rather Take seems to have given yeah. me the slip. He turns oh, back to no. the body, prodding at its face cautiously. Oh yes, an exceptionally common but exceptionally va- A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his- I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face- I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. Oh. But as I la- The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Carved? Please. You hardly think I am one of your breed, do you? You have mm. never seen anything like it because you have never met anyone like me. Oh, okay, I guess Simply he always put, was an undead. He was just I disgusted am now. And you are not. You have my sympathies. Indeed, no one seems to have the good taste to be. My people are rather absent, at <laughs> least from this rank. As for the others, well, there is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. I suppose. Circumstance. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. Excellent. While we are conversing, perhaps you noticed. Of course, the arcane arts are my little. Yeah, I can do that with, with one hand behind my spine. Splendid. Very well. Okay. Now we have a wizard. Um. Fire essence, ooh, lemonade, ooh, hair, mug of wine, a little bit of money. <clears throat> ow, 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 ow. Actually, I don't think I do. <laughs> uh, let me look. Ah! Poison! Yeah, the poison sucks. Um, no, I do not have <clears throat> an extra bucket. I have that cooking pot I put, though. Um, do I have a candle or anything? Torch the poison, but I don't think I have anything to torch it with. Wait, what if I switch to, um, how do I switch to, um, I, there's a way, it told me how to switch to the thing, but I can't travel remember with how. Me? Must you speak? Go on then, bark away. Let's see if we can find. How do I. Oh, okay, I don't want a tactical camera. Ah. Oh, what did I just. Okay, it's combat mode, I guess. Whenever your character, when I first recruited the character, how to how to do how or how to switch characters, I completely have no idea. Oh, oh, left trigger. All right, do you have magic? Oh, you have magic. Now we're gonna do a little bit of fire. Oh, I don't think that's what I want to do. Oh, all right then. Oh, he burned away the poison. Oh, tactical camera mode. He burned the box. He still has stuff. Ow, I burned me also. Ooh! Oh, yes. Oh, there's a little campsite over here. 
no time for idle chit chat. Kramer, if you take or touch any property that is yours, where are the consequences? Negative attitude and call the guards. Got it. Can I please speak with Venus? Go, get out! You are not welcome here. Go, man pig. She eyes you suspiciously. Please, please just go. She looks up at you as if to answer, but recoils at the sight of you and buries her face in her knees once more. Because you're a master. Okay. Master sent us here. Me and Ma and Pa. She was not a nice lady. Lizards aren't nice ladies. They beat me. Oh. Oh, look, I have a special dialogue option. Yeah. Oh, you're talking to uh, somebody I'm talking else. Talking to a kid. Okay. Um. Gee, you don't sound like a master. You're nicer than the others. I still. Uh, we're just going to take a quick intermission. Right, change in plans. Uh, we're gonna cut the stream short a little bit, um, and we'll be back. I don't know, maybe in about an hour or so. Um, I think there was at least one or two people watching, so sorry about that. But some stuff came up. Um, but we'll try to make it back and pick this up. In the meantime, uh, you can go over to the Main Gearbox Union channel. They're playing some stuff uh, for a good bit of the day yet for the charity. Uh, raising money for the charity and all that, so thanks so much, and we'll be back soon. <laughs>